Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. This is part two. That is a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. It's been drying for a couple of days. I want to put some texture in the bottom and I'm going to use some of the colors from the top. I'm also going to use a variety of other paint things, other acrylics in the bottom, all prism pores. This is the French silk as a conveyance for the other colors to float on top. This is the black iris. I'm going to use, like I said, some of the colors from the top. And in this case, it's sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush in it. And then I'm going to shovel apply them, I think. And I'll decide at that point in time if I want to swipe or not. I'm going to throw a little bit of Twilight Orchid in there also. It could come out so pretty that I don't want to swipe it with uh, the Amsterdam Black with Aussie Floetrol. This is the African Violet. This is a little hot orchid. This is a little pink diamond. Pretty sure I shook it. This is some orange crush with some big apple in it. of deep amethyst, which is just any dark purple, because I want some black, and I think I shouldn't worry about it too much, because I'm probably going to use, well, we'll see. We'll see if I do any swiping or not. I'm liking that I'm still seeing the, uh, the French lace. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of Chantilly lace around the edges, just to Move the rest of the paint into the center. Give myself something to swipe. I'm going for a little... Oh, I saw that hair on the braze, darn. A little Mayan gold. I have some leftover paint that's almost gone. It's my Tuscan Sun with Unicorn Spit in it. I don't think there's much in there, but whatever there is, is worth using. Oh, and it's gorgeous too. Okay, I'm going to keep draining that bottle because I don't like wasting paint. I have some Fandango, which maybe I should put in after I put my stripes down, it occurs to me. But I'll start with a little bit now. I've got some cerulean blue. Same thing. I'm, I'm a little nervous about going overboard net right now, but I'm enjoying the colors as they go down way too much. I'm making a little painting in the dish. This is some pink carnation. I think I need some lighter, lighter orange again which could be the Orange Crush because this is too dark. Okay, let's just, let's just look and see. This is, okay, this is the Orange Crush. That's perfect. That's what I didn't put in. And I have to remember that if I want some more purple or blue or anything else, I can always add it. So let's just get on with this. Move some of these paint bottles out of the way. Like more than that. <laughs> like all of them, please. And grab a shovel. Which I could get, grab a smaller scoop, and that might be even better. So let me see. I thought about using a spatula and putting, it, putting stuff on there, and that might be kind of fun. Let's try that first. I'm nervous. Yeah, it might be just very surreal.
I might have all kinds of colors <laughs> for another painting. Which would not make my husband happy because he expects to be going somewhere in about an hour and a half or less. They're looking so pretty. I don't I don't necessarily think that I'm going to swipe. I am liking them. I think I could have used a lot more green. So let's just do that now. Let's put a little more green right in here and see how we like that. Or if it even shows up. I see that paint ship. Move paint ship. Oh, move right into my paint. Darn it. I wouldn't normally worry about it, but that will leave a lump tomorrow. I kind of wanted to make my mountains purple, so I might not be done yet as far as that goes. This is forcing me to put less paint on, which is kind of something I was thinking might be an issue. I might put too much on and then I would lose all of my black. And originally I wasn't going to keep any of the black, but I kind of like it a lot. And if it's heavy enough, I suppose I could tip it. Not that that's probable. I'm going to put some paint right on the edge. Bring that down over. I'm loving the patterns in my paint. The colors are just perfect. And I don't know what I imagine it is, but it doesn't really matter to me either. Because it's just beautiful colors. And I'm probably still going to do the mountains, like I said, like some purple. I might even do some closer up. like this. It's an interesting concept. It's definitely very surreal. But I don't have a problem with surreal. It's fluid art. It can be whatever it wants to be. It's pretty much indefinable. And that would make it quick. I wouldn't mind it being quick, actually. I suppose they could just be rocks. I want to put something across the bottom. Do I dare? I guess I do. definitely have enough paint left in my dish. To do whatever I want to do. Alright. I say alright, but I'm not alright. I'm not sure about anything yet. But I am definitely thinking about covering that paint so it doesn't get any floppy. Because air is the enemy. And finding my... Finding my midnight shadow. Start with a little of that and throw a little Twilight Orchid in there and see how that goes. I'm also dripping some gorgeous paint down there, which I would love to be able to utilize. I'm not going to clean my spatula because I want the residuals.
and I lost some of my mountain range to the sky. That's working quite nicely actually. So I'm just going to do that all the way across most likely. Okay, so I should show you that really quickly. It's kind of different. And uh, I still could swipe. I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to add some of this black iris to the mixture. And some of that twilight orchid again. some of that midnight shadow, which I love. It reminds me of Prussian blue. I kind of want to put a little gold in there. That's kind of nuts though. Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. I haven't had to look for or put any more odd colors on there. But I could. Kind of wonder about putting more texture between the mounds. This is a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Best little tool I know of, and there's six of them. I was going to put trees in here, but I don't think so. I am going to square off some of my mountains, though. And that'll be very close to calling it whatever it's going to be called, which is bound to be good at this point. Clean off my spatula. Making beautiful color. I don't know what to call, call that. That's a combination of everything. I like pulling it down into the other colors. That's that's working for me, I think. Yeah, I like the the buttes. I'm I'm thinking that's what they're called. I'm no expert by any stretch. I'm trying to use just the mostly the bottom half of the spatula when I drag it across. Yeah, just squaring off everything. And there wouldn't be anything to keep anybody from swiping through with some colors. I just don't think that I need it. I'm really tempted to use it anyway. I'm tempted to use some of the residuals, and that's what I'm doing. Just to fill in a little bit. Add some more layers. Make it look, have some depth, which is what I seem to be feeling like it's doing. I have a limited amount of time though. I will, things will start to go to glob. could do this upside down easily, easily enough and show you guys what's going on. But 
but I think I'm less likely to get it right upside down, so I'll go back to doing what I was doing. I think it could take a while, what I'm doing. So I'm going to say that I could definitely continue on even after the video stops recording, but I'm, so, I'm sure there's some of you who don't mind watching. I've got three minutes left to tell you. I do sell my artwork, and if you're interested in making an inquiry, please feel free to use my email address. It's below show more. It's E-A-S. PB, like my initials, and the word gallery, E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Yeah, I really like filling in the black. It's not bothering me, but I like putting the blue and stuff in there. It makes me happier. I just don't think that I need any cells to make me happy in this particular piece. And you're going to be gone. I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I would really, really, really appreciate that. If you watch my videos longer and share them, like on Facebook, you're a great, assi great assistance to me. If you shop my links, you can find my links on my link tree. It's underneath Show More, underneath the video, below the Color Art Coupon Code, which is probably also under Show More since I've started adding the title of the video directly under there. Yeah, I don't mind the black as the background, but I like the blue overlay mixing with the colors. I'm pulling some of the colors. Whoops, <laughs> that was speaking too soon. Some of the colors being pulled down works really well for me. I'm going to show this to you now. Probably need some cactuses. And you should imagine that that black is going to get more or less filled in because that's pretty much what I'm planning on doing. So thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting. Not too many people are doing that these days, so everything is really appreciated. You help me buy supplies, and I, I so appreciate that. Uh, you can find the PayPal icon in the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner and the link also on the link tree. And if you use it, you're entitled for 30 days after you make a donation to um, a 15-minute consultation with me. And maybe someday drawings will come back again. But for right now, I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. If you look under the video and you find spring clothing, there's also Society6 and Legalorous clothing on my link uh, tree. <laughs> and um, what else? Spring clothing. Oh, Pinterest? Not Pinterest. Why do I do that? Um, FineArtAmericanPixels.com. It's P. It's the P word. Um, on my link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. My Facebook group is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at noon Eastern Standard Time most of the time. What am I forgetting? My Amazon link is on the link tree, and I have two books there, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. Uh, volumes 1 and 2 are the first and the second 100 videos, and all the descriptions of the processes and the tools and the ingredients. And... Uh, and if you buy, the, buy it from Amazon, you have a ten option to get a $10 ebook with all of the links that you can see and read on your tablet. Um, your comments are really appreciated to keep my morale boosted. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. I will see you anon. If I forgot something, you'll see it in another video. 2,400 videos I have. And you can find them by going to my channel and looking for playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, or just ask me because I have the links saved uh, by topic and genre and by the hundred. Uh, whatever else I've forgotten is my paint pouring recipes underneath show more. If you have questions, feel free to ask. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Bye for now. Priscilla out.